you see this dumb looking idiot in a diaper. What do you think this you is Sinjor Pink, tough? and this guy has hey, a backstory yeah. that is Are absolutely hard. Okay, let's, let's see, let's see. And upon hearing it, let's it completely changes everything. Yo, what's good, YouTube? This is Demon Slayer. It's me back with another video for y'all boys. And uh, we've seen the recent support on the One Piece videos and just all our videos. Appreciate y'all for that, man. W subs. That's so mad love. Let me support. Oh, yeah. Definitely appreciate it. We definitely appreciate it. Yeah. And for y'all hitting 100 subscribers, uh, we'll have a video in the works for y'all yeah. that will drop soon. It's a banger. Now, yeah, y'all yeah, better be looking out for that, man. It's gonna, mm -hmm. come out. it's gonna come out soon. But today we got the appeal of One Piece. And we seen uh, who is this guy again? One of y'all commented in the in the comments. I think it was. Let's see, it was Plus Gamer. We gonna put you up. And we got some the appeal of One Piece, and uh, we better get into it, man. Appeal of One Piece. For a while now, there has been a certain ominous shadow cast across this channel. You see, as a YouTuber, I'm generally known for four things. My long in-depth videos, my love of all things shonen, my utterly flawless spelling, and my absolutely perfect pronunciation of the Japanese language. And the problem with those former two is that at some point it means that I need to do a video on the series One Piece. Which is fine, I like One Piece quite a lot in fact. But the issue comes from how insanely long the series is, currently residing at its 833rd chapter, and the staggering breadth of its world, which, according to the One Piece wiki, has currently 866 named characters. I know because I counted and it took a long time. So how does one talk about such a massive series like One Piece? Well, the answer that I've come to at least is the same way that one devours a whale. And that is piece by piece. One piece. <laughs> and so, what we're going to do here today is that rather than go straight into a full blown why you should watch slash read, which don't worry, we will get to, is to first put out a shorter video covering what I consider some of the broader structural aspects of One Piece, which will then free us up and allow us to take a much deeper dive into the characters and themes later on. So with this in mind, my friends, please sit back, relax, and consider this an entree with the main course still to come. And let's discuss the appeal of One Piece. Where to start. I first encountered One Piece in 2006 on the UK television version of Toonami, and unbeknownst to me at the time, what I was watching was the infamous Four Kids dub, which would become well known over time for its questionable translation and excessive amounts of censorship. And even despite these factors, I really came to enjoy the adventures of Nami, Zoro, and of course Luffy. The series had a unique playfulness to it that made it stand out from other more stoic series I'd seen up to this point, like Bleach and Dragon Ball Z. And even in the show's more dramatic moments, there was always a tremendous amount of fun to be had. Of course, as I watched the imaginative pirate adventure on my parents' old TV, what I was completely unaware of was what a world-shattering phenomenon I was actually dealing with. That revelation would only strike me several years later, when, on a trip to Japan, it became obvious what a massive deal One Piece actually was. Around every corner in every shop seemed to lie another new piece of Straw Hat Pirate merchandise. Luffy and his ragtag crew were everywhere on everything. One Piece branded bread, One Piece bath salts, even entire One Piece branded shops. It was incredible to see how what I thought was a simple show about pirates utterly dominate the mass consciousness of a single country. The closest thing I could liken it to was the Simpsons mania of early 90s America. This was, of course, before I started looking into things like global sales figures and weekly show rankings. And if I had, I would have known things like the fact that One Piece has sold over 400 million units worldwide, making it the third biggest selling comic in existence, recently beating out Spider-Man for the number three spot, leaving only Batman and Superman ahead of it. 
And even then, in 2016, Batman sold 1,859,956 units and Superman sold 828,069 units. And you could even roughly double the sales of both series by taking into account all their offshoot titles. And it still wouldn't even come close to the 12 million in sales that One Piece sold that same year. And where things really start to get crazy is that if these trends were to continue and One Piece were to run for another decade, it would nearly certainly surpass Batman in lifetime global sales. And if it were to run for another two decades, which for Oda's sake I hope doesn't happen, it would surpass even uh, Superman the uh, biggest uh, selling uh, comic uh, in existence. Uh, now, I'm not saying I think this will happen, but it's a hell of a thing to consider. And so, how has a series about a pirate boy made of rubber managed to capture the hearts and minds of so many people worldwide? Well, to put it simply, the primary appeal of One Piece is the simple premise of adventure. And yes, that is also the core concept of countless other shonen series, but nothing really captures the same sense of scale and exploration as the world of pirates. Our hero on this voyage is the energetic young pirate, Monkey D. Luffy. Luffy is a simple character with a simple goal, to find the mysterious treasure only known as One Piece and in doing so, become king of the pirates. This was Luffy's primary motivator from chapter 1 and remains so in chapter 834. And this keeps Luffy's journey along the one distinct path, which is a concept surprisingly unique to One Piece. In most other shonen series, our heroes will go on several different large... Sound playing Dragon Ball Z up there. For top five? Dragon Ball Z. Dragon Ball Super. Dragon Ball. Naruto is not top five. Demon Slayer. Attack on Titan, Full Monoculus. So, uh, One Piece is in top, in top five. It's not like One Piece. I like that, you know? Good man. Why are you on this dick? Why are you on my dick? We just had this argument, Jaddy. One Piece is better than all those ones you just said. <laughs> okay. Your Wait, argument, which is top five? Your argument is flawed. Okay, I'll uh, give it to you. Yours uh, is fucking retarded. Sorry. Dragon Ball Z. That's Demon number Slayer. one. Dragon Ball number one. Yeah. Dragon Ball Z, Super Kai. Which one? No, what? Uh, no, I'm talking about the whole series. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Demon Slayer is number Dragon two. Dragon Ball, my favorite. Dragon Ball, Demon Slayer, uh, Hunter x Hunter. This is crazy. Attack on Titan. That's, that's, that's reasonable. That's the only, that's the... Uh, oh, full Metal Alchemist. Full no, Metal Alchemist. Really uh, Crazy, no Naruto. Eh, eh. Oh, Naruto. But... Uh, Naruto's about yeah, funny. I know, yeah. if I, if I, if I, if I LA, it's bro. good, but it's, it's, it's... Naruto's about One Piece, please, right? Yeah, 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 definitely. LA, bro. Definitely about One Piece. LA, bro. I would, I would tie it for five, actually. Top five. Yeah. One Piece is like... Trying to get there, but Naruto is another long ass shit that just you gotta get to it. You gotta get to the good parts, man, for sure. But the see, fuck. the thing is about one that One Piece don't have. They had Naruto and Sasuke. You know what I'm saying? Like a Flash. rivalry. Yeah, that rivalry. Yeah. Bro, you're in like episode fucking twenty. You're not gonna see shit. They had the rivalry, it, and you see Naruto and Sasuke really become something. You feel me? Fucking at the end. Yeah, kids and everything. Yeah, at the end. If you got, if you caught it up with this, it wasn't all the way at the end. If you know, you know. Then okay, Naruto becoming Hokage was at the end. It wasn't. It didn't matter about him becoming Hokage. That's his whole goal. He was crushing. It mattered about getting the journey there. Exactly, and that's the whole. Still haven't seen piece. him become anything. How would you know? You haven't seen it. He hasn't become the uh, the pirate king. But there's shit under the pirate king that he that happened, nigga. You wouldn't know. Okay. You haven't seen I don't it. Care about him coming second place? <laughs> We're not talking about second place. It's other shit. That's the show's not even named after him. <laughs> yeah, it's for the fashion. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Naruto. 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 Is Dragon Ball named after Goku? No. And you said it's your number one. Anyways, bro. 
I'm just gonna get back. Both of them got elders. Y'all just heard their lips. It's Goku. He's a Super Saiyan. Goat Ku. Goat Ku. Come on, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's fucking hell, bro. Yeah, I think it's crazy, bro. So different large adventures throughout the course of its run. And these are what make up the arcs. But in One Piece's case, oh it's God. always the yeah, same yeah, journey yeah, along the same yeah, path. To okay. the point that you can actually chart Luffy's route out on a physical map. <laughs> and the sub-arcs come from the various different islands or land masses the crew encounters along the way. This works particularly well as it makes the core story of One Piece very easy to understand, while also allowing for a massive amount of variety in the series sub-arcs. Some can be very simple, like the Barity arc, in which the Straw Hats visit a famous sailing restaurant in order to recruit a chef. Or very very complicated like the Dress Rosa arc, in which the crew must untangle a web of political intrigue and face down a vicious and tyrannical false king. And because of how the arcs are structured, with literal massive quantities of ocean between them, there's no real limit to the kind of stories One Piece can tell. They start off fairly Villain of the Week-esque, with most enemies being rival pirate captains. But as we move on, we see the Straw Hats embroiled in government conspiracies, abducted by massive haunted ghost ships, springing jailbreaks, and even being at the center of large-scale global conflicts. And throughout the entire adventure, there's this real genuine sense of time and progress. When Luffy sets out on his journey from Fusha Village, he has little more to his name than a wooden dinghy and his straw hat. And now, 20 years later, he's an infamous pirate warlord, the world famous captain of one of the most renowned pirate crews in all of existence, the Straw Hat Pirates, of whom include a master samurai, a technologically advanced pantsless cyborg, and even an undead violinist with a awful, amazing sense of humor. One of the core joys of One Piece is watching Luffy slowly ascend in status and build his crew as each new battle propels him closer to his dream while also increasing his notoriety worldwide. It's not ever a story you could accuse of moving quickly, but it's have you seen the, the swordsman? <laughs> Have you seen the swordsman? The, the swordsman? Yeah, I've seen him. You seen him fight Zero? Zero? Yeah, for That shit was trash? Okay, oh yeah, that was bad. That was Come on, bro. But like, I'm talking about all the books. I had to watch. I had to start from the bottom. And I still it's have the two, two billion episodes left, bro. And it gets better and better. That's one thing. That's a tiny fight, bro. That's nothing. You said it's, it's all right. And that's nice, bro. That's 1999. That's mad. And I can't even find nowhere to watch it right now. <laughs> There's an old head anime. That's why. Bro, it's literally on Netflix. It's on everything, bro. You can, oh, yeah, you can yeah. find it everywhere. It's everywhere, man. I forgot about that. Shut up. I forgot about is always moving. Okay, and I think it's only when you look back that you see how far Luffy and his crew have actually come. Of course, the success of an adventure series is largely dependent on the world the adventure takes place in. And this is another area where the series shines. One Piece's world, to put it simply, is the largest, most intricately detailed and well thought out of any of the long-running Shonen series. Which may not be obvious from the offbeat cartoonish designs of Oda's artwork, but make no mistake, this is a world of layers with its own government, economy, cultural and racial divides with many, many different now, factions, all of whom have their own philosophies flowers. and motivations. While Luffy and his crew are often at the center or at least involved in large scale global <laughs> incidents, the world also progresses entirely separate to them. Major plot incidents completely separate from the Straw Hats are common, and when they do occur, they reverberate throughout the world on such a scale that it drastically affects the lives of every character in it, such as Portuguese the Aces showdown with Blackbeard that resulted in the great summit war. It always feels like there's a larger picture of one piece, and depending on the global political climate of the time, Luffy and the Straw Hats' allies and enemies can switch from arc to arc, giving the world this intriguing, ever-changing dynamic. And so One Piece's world succeeds on a grand scale, but what may be even more impressive is the characters that Oda has filled it with. What at first can seem like a cartoonish gag character can through Oda's storytelling become a portrait of life at its cruelest and most tragic. And this information is often delivered through weighty flashback stories, in which we're taken through the key moments of a character's life. And while a badly used flashback can utterly kill the momentum of a series, Oda uses them in such a way to keep his characters weight, rending, and motivation that otherwise just wouldn't be possible. Like, seriously, you see this dumb-looking idiot in a diaper? What do you think this you is Senor Pink, stuff? and this guy has oh, a backstory yeah. that is absolutely sure? hard. Okay, let's, let's see, let's see. And upon hearing it, let's it completely changes everything about how you see him. Go, Moving swiftly okay. along... Actually, no, wait, 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 no, no. I know some of you out there don't believe me, so we're gonna prove it. Let's do this. 
Senor Pink started out his adult life as a member of the brutal Don Quixote crime family, where his days were frequently filled with criminal activity and brutal violence. Until one day, in the pouring rain, he met a woman who he immediately fell in love with. They got married, had a child, and for a while at least, everything was perfect. Except that Pink was still involved in the Don Quixote family, which he hid from his wife for fear that she might leave him. One day he's called away on a secret mission and disappears for an entire week, and upon returning, discovers that the day he left, his precious son had passed away, and now his wife, furious and heartbroken, demands an explanation, and he tells her everything, at which point she demands he stay away from her, rushes from the home in the pouring rain, before getting into an accident that leaves her in a vegetative state. Pink, devastated by the events, visits her every day in hospital, until one day on a whim, puts on a bonnet reminiscent of their son in an attempt to entertain her, and miraculously, she cracks a small, delicate smile. And so, for the sake of seeing his wife smile, he continues to dress more and more elaborately, even enduring the ridicule of everyone around him. Years later, his wife too has passed, but he still dresses this way out of remembrance for her and of his beloved son. And so, one of the silliest see, looking characters in One Piece like, actually has legitimate character motivation for dressing this way. And in justifying this, he becomes an actual grounded, tangible character. What really gets me here is that this the is boys. one tiny <laughs> inconsequential character in One Piece's yeah, world. One and yet still, Oda manages to imbue him with a sense of depth and grounding many writers, yeah, many writers yeah. fail to give even their main protagonists. And that's to say nothing of the amazing job Oda's done in establishing the main major heroes and villains of One crazy. Piece's story. Having so many characters with such fleshed out histories and motivation is the primary factor that makes One Piece's worlds feel so vivid and alive, and makes each individual character feel like a true story in their own right. The last thing I'd like to talk about with One Piece is also one of its least tangible elements, and that is the creativity and imagination that's gone into it. There's always a sense that when reading One Piece, Oda himself is enjoying the world and characters yeah, more than anyone. It can be seen in the new and creative ways that he uses his at first seemingly little power. It can be seen in the bizarre visual design of many of the world inhabitants and the camaraderie that takes place between the Straw Hats, and even in the ever-evolving unique structure of Oda's story arcs. He always seems like an author not striving to hit a deadline, but an artist creating a world and story distinctly of his own vision. This is something we're going to dig a lot deeper into in a future video, but for now, just trust me, simply no one writes a story like a Chiro Oda. So with all that in mind, where should you start? Well, the obvious answer is page one, chapter one. The manga is for the most part a fantastic read, but I understand people's reluctance to get into it given its insane length. And the anime goes with some of its own issues too, such as a weak production run and masses of filler. But if you're curious to know if One Piece really is for you or not, or even if you just want to dip your toe in, allow me to present a different option, and that is the fantastic One Piece Movie 6, Baron Amatsuri yeah. and the Secret Islands. Directed by Mamoru Hosoda like, of the Digimon movie, The Girl Who Left Through Time and Summer Wars, yeah. the movie encapsulates like, in a like digestible mad, 90 nasa, minutes childish. everything that makes One Piece as a series so much fun. On top of having some absolutely gorgeous animation and character designs, and one of the darkest and hardest right turns I've seen in any film for a while. It requires basically no prior knowledge of One Piece or its world to enjoy, and I think even if you have zero interest in One Piece, seeing one of Japan's most talented directors put his own unique spin on the world of pirates is absolutely worth checking out. Guys, that's going to do it for my intro into One Piece. Shiki? Shiki. No, Shiki, right? I think the new one that's coming out is going to be the best one. No, 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 that's definitely going to be the best one. We all got to see that movie. What? One piece when we come out. That shit already. Someone in the comments said it too early. Past Demon Slayer and YouTube. That's and, just and, luck, though, bro. Yeah, facts. That can totally, hundred percent be luck. Okay. That's totally luck. Let's, let's really think about it. One piece has been out for uh, how long? Of course, and the Demon movie is gonna be. There you know what that means? Demon Slayer. That effort, means like, that means that it should drop, but it's number one. If something right? goes on for all that long, all fans have been there. It's gonna no, be. No, that's gonna, like saying I won't watch Dragon Ball Z or. People that have, that have watched Dragon Ball Z wouldn't watch it anymore if they came out with something. Obviously, they wouldn't watch it if it was ass. Nigga, when they come out with another Dragon Ball Z, I'm watching it. We're yeah. watching it too, obviously. Obviously, so that's like nigga, saying, but why would you stop watching the show if it's still going on? And if it's if trash. watching it for this long. If it's trash, I would drop it. Like, you were. Uh, I'm, I'm saying, this shit is trash because I have to watch a billion episodes before I get to the good shit. No, you don't, bro. You're just not watching it. 
If you watch it, you'll see. You just haven't watched it, bro. Because de- not Demon Slayer. Uh, so you're saying Seven Seven all the way up until where I'm at is gonna be immaculate stuff. <laughs> immaculate. Yes. Every episode. No, no, not no, every episode. No, 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 I'm not no, saying every episode. No, no. I'm not saying that. I'm, I'm truthful. Not every episode. What did you say? Seven Days Demon Slayer. No, every no, 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 episode was a banger. Okay. That's true. That is true. You're a Demon Slayer dick. You're a you're a one piece dick. Okay. And you just the, said the that episode, episode was that the training episode Most was Demon blowing and really shit good. was crazy, it was immaculate. It was what? blowing in a, when it was training. It was, when training. It was training. That's it immaculate. Was like, it was getting Come big, on, bro. bro. He, said, he, said every episode. Big, he said every episode. It was big niggas, bro. Nigga, he's blowing in a fucking tube. That's not, that's not bro, that crazy, bro. It, but it, that didn't even last the whole episode. It was. No, it wasn't. Okay. Anyways. But what about but seven days since? The f- obviously, I was watching it the first season. That shit was, you know, it was tough. It was, but then no, the third one came out, no, 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 no. and the animation was ass. The animation was good, like Demon Slayers. No, yeah, so I would have watched it. Would have been my top ten. Oh. It would have been top ten. What? Seven Deadly Sins. You haven't seen that? Seven Deadly. Yeah, how did I forget that? Matter of fact, forget what I said. That's in my top five. At, at four. Have you even seen the, the <laughs> third season? I watched the whole thing. That season was ass. But the, the animation, animation in that season was. Exactly. That's good. why Magical yeah. dropped it. It was memes about it. it. Who decided that? Who decided that? Who decided that? The first season came in. Bro. He came in stomping. Looked that nigga down. Who decided yes. that? Yes. Yeah. No. Come on, bro. That's me. But the, they ruined it in the third season, bro. Lying for the pride. That's when you drop shit. And if one piece was ass, not that many. Not, that, not that many people be watching it till now. Come on, bro. It would be I'm not, all right. I've seen that it gets good. Yeah. How long does it take to get that good though? You gotta be patient, man. I'm not that patient. That's what every show. I was never that patient. Every long show. First of all, I've never watched this. any long shows like that. Naruto. Like I long. watched that when I was young. Boy. I started watching that when I was young. That's <sighs> just, you know what I'm saying? And that's, I don't watch bars, though. And, like. More to ass. No, yeah. Don't, yeah, don't, you don't wanna watch that. <laughs> It's fucking Philly. It's a Philly anime. Yeah. <laughs> up until Naruto, 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 Naruto and Josuke fight. Yeah. Until then, that's the only time it's good. That's it. I don't know, that's good. This video has showed like the this highest fucking in the rankings comics. It's competing with comics. And it's, no, no, it's anime competing. I'm sure. I'm sure it gets Batman. Good. It passed Batman, bro. That's and man, bro, things watch it. If they came out with a Batman anime, that was that was come the on, animation is up to par. You just talking about, bro. If the animation was up to par. <laughs> Batman anime would destroy every single time. Batman anime, like a very good anime. It would I'm be good, good, and the story is good. That's in this. Like yeah. starting from kid to he becomes training, all that. Like I'm talking about, like the, if that shit was like this long, like he starts out as a kid and then like that shit lasts a grip. Bro, that's the thing though. A lot of people already know what happens because Batman. I've seen yeah. that. You can read the manga. <laughs> I mean, we already know that. We already see the movies. It's basically like, you know what I'm saying, manga and shit. Now, this is a WB video, though. It showed, like, you know what I'm saying, shit that's. I'm sure that Wild One Piece is a goat. This thing is getting hit. It wouldn't be number two for no reason. It's not just out of the I'll put it in my top 10. It's pretty hard. I've never watched this one. Huh? I never. I didn't. I haven't watched enough to. Yeah, you, that's, that's the thing. When you, if, you, if you were caught up and you were saying what you were saying, I would be like, yeah, you know, put it in top 20. Right. No, from what you've seen, I don't think so. 40? I don't think so. Right there, right, right, right there. That's a good spot. But, what's that? What's going on? Where he's eating the demon fingers? Jujutsu. Jujutsu. Jujutsu Kai is in the head. That's yeah. my, that's probably top. What's that? That might be, nah, probably like right after top that's... 10. Right after top 10. I heard the next season gonna be crazy though. Yeah, we're dragging out too long, man. We better, you know what I'm saying, sign out. It's the Demon Series, you know what I'm saying? It's your boy, bro. Boy, Drip. Oh. And y'all yeah, recommend more videos guys. in the description. I think I recommend more videos in the description. And then we out, man. Yeah.